Hey, what's up gamers, and welcome to our next exciting episode of our Valhalla playthrough of Going Medieval here on the Bears and Beans channel. So, a few things that we need to go over. Um, real quick, I'm going to cut away to two things that happened off camera. We had a hailstorm and a raid. So, as you can see here, we got bodies and all kinds of gear from that. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut right now to show you those clips real quick. So, let's slide over and do that. Whoa, a hailstorm. An icy volley heralded a fierce hailstorm. The settlers of Asgard could only shiver uneasily, hasteningly, hastening under cover as the stinging barrage intensified. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> Once the storm passed, they crept forth to see which crops and unsheltered resources had survived. Ooh, and we have everything inside, motherfucker! Yes! Oh, here it comes, the hailstorm. Look at it just slamming down on everybody right now. Good lord. Well, let's see how long this one will last. Oh, and it's time for another raid. Attack the forest bandits. They appeared silently, eyes hollow, hair wild, smelling rancid and daubed with blood. Everyone in Asgard recognized these pillagers as assailants of the most deadly kind. They were beyond reason, with nothing left to lose. Alright, so what do we got? Look at them. Look at their little sticks and their wood and shit. Oh yeah, they're gonna get... Oh, they're going to get destroyed. For sure. Alright, so... See, they're down here. So they're going to be coming up probably right here. You know what? We're Vikinger. Let's meet them out on the field of battle. So before we get started... I'm going to go ahead and drop a save right here, just in case. So let's grab Freya and Loki. Throw you guys here. And we will grab Odin. Put you there. Thor. Put you there. And then we'll put you there. And put you there. Alright. Here we go. Time for battle. And there you have it. We met them on the field of battle and we defeated them. The settlers came under attack in the summer of 1353. The ordeal continued for an hour and 41 minutes. All settlers survived the raid. Five sworn enemies died during the fight. Odin was the bravest, dealing the most blows. Odin also took the most damage. Oh, he led the way a true leader should. He got down in the trenches with his men and he said, This is how we do it! Fuck yeah! Alright. Freya and Loki. Over here. Actually, over here. Oh, 
Oh, got him. He's bleeding out. He's slow. There you go. Finish him off. Oh, come on. Get him up here. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. All right. You guys are free. Free to move about. Do what you got to do. All of this are now the glorious spoils of war. Bro had savage plate armor on. Damn. Lots of good stuff for recycling, that's for sure. Ooh, look at that big old beauty. A great axe. Damn. Flimsy spear. Flimsy staff. They literally showed up and trying to just beat us with sticks. Man, fuck these guys. Alright, now welcome back. Pretty crazy, right? We had the hailstorm. That was the first time I've ever experienced that. And then the raid, which that was totally random. But we were able to hold it off. We're good to go. We now also have a new person. A Gacia. So we have a Gacia, Freya, Loki, Odin, Thor, and Valkyrie. A Gacia is going to get a name change. I just don't know what yet. I haven't decided. So many good Asgardian names to choose from. Um, so a few things that were mentioned in the comments. Uh, a couple of you didn't like that I just went all Willow over here. So I have another forest starting back over here that's a mix of everything. It's a hodgepodge of birch, pine, oak, willow. It's got all of it. So we're slowly going to work that up. I'm going to fill all of this island with forest. Because eventually I'm going to chop all this out. And we'll have to clear these dirt mounds as the settlement grows on this island. But we've got our little ritual area. I went ahead and put some flooring down. Put the pyre. Nice big circle. And then all of these are going to be willow trees. That once they're planted, I'm going to delete the things. That way we don't touch them. This will be a very quiet, sacred area for the village. So I want that very well protected. And then we're, of course, burning all the bodies. Collecting all of the gear. Lots of good gear. Um, like, I mean, it's only flimsy and stuff. But still, we're getting plate armors already. So definitely one of the benefits of upping the difficulty. Which, like I said, with each raid, I'm slowly going to bump it. So we started off on the lowest. And now we're already up to medium, like mid-tier, normal. So we're definitely... And then eventually we'll get all the way up to top, and then we'll just ride that out as long as we can. The other big thing that I want to tackle in this episode, so aside from, you know, expansion, preparations, cleaning up from the raid, is the issue with the flooded basement. So as you can see, we're losing flooring right here on our second floor because the vertical stability is being lost. The reason for that is because of these pieces that are being broken out. Now, the reason I'm having to do this is I noticed there was some issue with stability. I am one square off. I need the stability to be here. So, to kind of separate it even further, I'm going to be putting in some clay... I believe it's clay brick. 0.85. Let's just do straight clay soil. I'm going to be putting that here and here here and here with a door to help further insulate this area. So that's going to do that's going to be part of that. Also, the other big thing is the water situation. I tested out a little experiment where if you dig down one more level with just a few blocks, all the water from here will drain and then you can fill it with clay and then the water basically absorbs and goes away as long as we don't do any expansion, right? Cuz we are at the water table level. So if I do build out here, it will release new water that then will spread and we'll have to do that all over again. But I don't foresee us growing beyond this, because especially once we get shelving up down here. And again, this is strictly going to be for food, because the temperature down here is already in the 30s in the middle of summer. So this is all going to be good, good stuff. Alright, so who's mining and digging? Gacia. Alright, let's get you down here. Nope, come on. Come on. Give me that good angle. There we go. Come and prioritize this. Uh, Thor, you are also the other one. Come and prioritize this. We need to get this handled under control. Alright, so we got Agassi and Thor mining away now. Odin, he's gathering for construction. He's probably going to start the clay process here. Valkyrie is currently taking a prey break. So let's double check. Alright, we got that there. Jobs are all square. 
Odin working away. Loki's praying. I have him prioritizing research. Because again, we need to keep keep pushing our way through. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward this and get it going. Hey, hey, yo, Thor. My buddy. My dude. Let me get this. Geesia, you're going to be done here in a second. Go ahead and take that girl. But yeah, see? We opened up two. All the water drained into those. I'm going to open up more to kind of dissipate the water a little bit better. And then we'll fill it with clay, and it'll be like it never happened. See? And then it drops it. And then we'll go ahead and throw another door right here. And then we'll throw up some more supports here here. We're going to do some mid supports as well. Alright, there we go. So it looks like the issue is going to be wood. So we have all that ready for building. Um, also, we need to lay some flooring down. Clay is the big thing here, so I'm thinking clay brick floor is going to be the way to go. that out of this out of the way all right so Odin patching in with the water all right so that's good to go out there so the other thing is I want this deconstructed because I want all of that to be the clay brick as well because we're on the bottom floor right Ooh, new settler all right right out the gate what a way to start an episode Salvation, the River Bandits, which we know from our 700 subspecial, they are fierce. Appearing deranged at first. Elwis? El yeah, I'll say Elwis was simply overcome with terror. A pitiful stumbling corpse with wells from binding and harsh beatings by a cruel master. Elwis begged, hide me. I will die if I am caught. Um, it's a her. All right. Well, let's help her out. Always, always like to help out the ladies. I try when I can. All right, so she's down in this bottom corner. She's gonna get get, get some hoofing in to get down to our level. All right, let's get back to putting in the floor. Actually, you know what? I won't deconstruct those. We'll leave it as wood. It'll add to the cheekiness of the stairs. Okay, so we'll get all that built. That should then solve our problem. Hopefully we didn't lose too much stability. Alright, so we lost some flooring here, which means the same thing happened upstairs, which unfortunately means they can't get to their beds until this is handled. Alright, so let's go ahead and start chopping down some trees, I guess. Right, let's, let's clear out this little forest right here. I mean, you guys wanted more variety, so let's go ahead and cut it all out. Definitely have room for room for the new settler. All right, so we'll bump all this to two. All right, so let's see what she's gonna do. All right, so she's content. So one thing, so Elvis, Freya, and Valkyrie. Elvis, Freya, and Valkyrie. We can all set to self tend because they have a high enough setting. All right, but Elwis, what are you going to do? Hunter. Construction. Ooh, really good at growing and harvesting. Could always use another one of, the, of, of uh, farm help. Animal, okay. We'll downgrade that. Mining, yeah, not really a priority. Cutting plants, we'll bump that. Cooking. Sure, you can be a backup. Yeah, that's not really all that great. Neither is that. Neither is that. Neither is that. Neither is that. Alright, she's passionate about those things, but... We'll cycle that. You know what, let's leave those as three, because she's passionate about it. We'll cycle it back around. Okay. So that'll give her some stuff to do. She'll definitely help out with the fields. How about with harvesting, cutting? Right? We got, we got a lot that needs to be harvested and gathered. So we'll definitely make sure we get that taken care of. 
But that means his search party is arriving in one day and four hours. So we're going to have to make sure we are ready to go for that. Uh, who are you? Freya, okay. We got our little Holland dog. Holland pooch. So the next thing, I mean, we have the longhouse. It's got everything it's it needs in it. The next big thing is obviously going to be expanding out one more layer, then putting another like square house at each end, and then expanding back. That's obviously going to happen next. Um, but the other thing that still remains is raid defense, right? So I put this cheeky little fence with some gardening out here. I'm thinking maybe kind of lined up with this midsection. We put little towers, like, here and here, right? Because we're going to have a piece right here, and then we'll have another bigger squared-off piece like this on each of these ends. And then we can start working our way backwards off of those. And those will be little two-story bits. Or maybe they'll be the same size, or maybe smaller. I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's, that's the future's problem, right? As we expand, we need more space for stuff. Then back in this notch area, so when we make this into a giant U, right, it's gonna go like this. This middle area will mine all that dirt out and we'll turn this into the animal area. And then we'll have all the fields and stuff kind of out into here. Maybe along the sides, or maybe we'll move them. Whoa! Maybe we'll move the fields with the animals into this middle area. I don't know, we'll figure all that out. But raid defense is my next big thing. We've got 20 hours. Having some kind of outposts would be nice. Maybe we can whip up some quick little one-story shooting floors. Maybe we can do like here. I think could work, right? Just go like there, 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 there. Like a little 3x3, three three, like a little platform. Something like that. Yeah, let's do it. There, 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 there. Do the same thing over here. That'll work. And then we can run the fence right up to it. Alright, which means we need to chop some wood. Alright, so let's get to chopping. Alright, Loki. Alright, you're eating. Alright, so... Actually, I can do it this way. So, Loki. Cut plants. Cut plants. Cut plants. Alright, I want all of you cutting plants. Get out there and get a chopping. Give me all the fucking wood we can. We're gonna have two little guard towers. Oh, this is probably a waste of wood, but you know me, I like the aesthetic. I gotta... Um, okay, so then where do I want the ladders? I the ladders right here? Or do I want them on the inside, like in here? I'm thinking here will probably be best, right? Because it's for raid defense. And these ladders, what they'll do is they'll climb up, and then I'll have somebody that's up there deconstruct the ladder so that way they don't get attacked while they're in their tower. Or on their platform. Alright, let's try this. I want to try a, an aesthetic. I need to turn blue, though, so it looks a little bit better. There we go. Got everybody coming out here. There we go. Chopping trees like mad. There we go. Oop, wrong button. Alright, well, let's just keep, keep going as much as we can. Alright, turn blue. Let me check something here. So if we do these to the outside, how does that look? 
has very much an overhang. Don't know how I feel about that. It's the only thing. Let me see if I make this one a corner piece. How does that look? I mean, it has a certain aesthetic to it, yes. It looks a little barbaric. But if I do it flush on here, right, you're only going to have the one little space to work on. See if I add to it on this side. How does that look? I feel like it needs to be taller to be that wide. Like maybe a second floor. I don't know. That will be another day's problem. Oh shit. I forgot that it selected all of those. There we go. Right now, we just need to get the platforms, I think. I think that's going to be the way to go. And then we'll make it on a second second level. We'll deconstruct, but right now, as far as this is concerned... Alright, so Odin, prioritize this shit. Yep, come on, dude. You got 11 hours. You can do it, my man. Just get us a platform. Alright, there's tons of wood being chopped over there. You shouldn't have an issue. Yep, there you go. Come on. Build that ladder. Come on, build some wood floors. Seven hours. Already working on it. Alright, that's what I like to see. Alright. Management. We forgot to focus on this. Okay, so what is her... Melee is four. Marksman is eight. Sweet. So she's going to be a range. No shield. Any headgear, we wear winter clothes here, my dear. Grab some armor, you're on the meal plan. Alright, schedule jobs. So for her... We need, to, we need her to go rest. There he goes, look at him go. Look at that dude. Look at him go, Odin, go. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're going to have these built up in no time. Have a nice little raid defense. This will be great. And the best part about having our settings to where everyone is skilled in at least something. Right? Dude is going gonna, is gonna to crank out. Alright, we got four hours, guys. Let's lock and load. Let's get her done. Look at all that wood we cleared. Alright, so what I'm going to do is some of these... I'm gonna change. So here, let's grab. Can I do multiple? No, it won't let me. So this one. Let's switch to birch. This one, birch. This one can be birch. That one, maple. That one, birch. Throw some birch over here. Throw another birch down here. Oh, that's a birch. Let's get a maple. A maple. Okay, then all we have to do is this. Maple. Get some maple. I don't know, an oak. Throwing an oak. What about this guy? No, he's a birch. He's an oak. There. Another oak. There, that'll give a little bit more diversity. We'll see how that looks. Definitely play it out as it goes. We still have... Alright, the bodies have either been eaten or burned. But we still have all the equipment out there. 
Valkyrie is hard at work planting all our new trees. Odin is a beast. No, dude. We need to get this shit handled. Come on, guy. What are you thinking? Come on. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we need to get this shit handled before the raid gets here. We need to get some kind of flooring situated. They're gonna arrive any minute. Good job. Oh, schedule. What time is it? It's 20. Alright, so they're in the anything bracket. Oop, all right, here we go. Violent extortionists, the river bandits. The brute spoke, softly but menacing. Elwis belongs to me. Hand over my slave or you will all suffer. They were deadly serious. Asgard's defiant settlers refused to bow to the assailant's demands. An archer, a fierce marauder, and five marauders. Let's give them a little something to rumble. Right? Come if you dare. Alright. Oh, they're coming from north. Alright, so let's see how they're going to get here. They're going to have to... Oh, sorry. The water glitch looks weird. They're going to have to come up this way. Which means more than likely they're going to come up right here. Which means they're going to come this way. They'll come around... Okay, I mean, we could meet them here, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Um, I think we might just use the time it takes them to travel to finish our tower. All right, Thor. Come prioritize this. Who else has construction skills? Agacia, Eloise, Odin. All right, Agacia... Build this, Eloise. Construct that. Enemies have started their attack. Alright, come on. Here we go. They're coming in hot. Oh, they're right there. Shit. Okay. Um. Archers. I need all of you to get your asses up here. And everyone else. Drop whatever you're doing. And get inside here. This is going to be a close one. Here they come. No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Dicks, man. Nope, I need her inside. Shit. Um, Odin. Alright, Odin, get up here.
Come on. This. What is it with me and rage being a disaster? There we go. Get everybody out. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was a fucking hot mess. All right, sworn enemies died during the fight. Loki, bravest, dealing the most blows. Odin took the most damage. And we lost a pyre and a kiln. All right, everybody. Get his ass. Get his ass. Hunt him down. No, nope, let him go. That's fine. He can live. We'll allow it. Ah! Why does it always do this? Alright, we'll allow him to live. Go about your biz, peeps. Alright, so... The towers were a complete disaster. It was a waste of time. It was a disaster. It was horrible. I hate everything about it. Go ahead and rip it all to the ground. We'll just have to figure something else out. Because the big thing is that we're going to need a position to fight from. That they can access from inside the longhouse. That doesn't require... Because that's what fucked us right here. Was the, the in and out, the stumbling, the ladders. Like, we need a, a way of getting them to focus on this front door, which will reinforce the shit out of. And then the archers can all just be up here just raining fire or something. We'll have to figure some way out of doing that. Because I don't want to really do, like, an outer wall. I mean, a lot of Viking architecture does have, like, where they would put mounds around their cities and stuff really to block wind and harsh weather and stuff but it was also so that way if they saw an enemy like you know they'd be up there and they'd be like yo there he is because <laughs> you'd have to come up over the mound but i don't know we'll figure something out obviously we always do All right, we got a lot there big thing now is we're going to need to uh rebuild the fucking kiln that was a pain in the ass. Jesus. And it has to be outside, of course. Well, one thing we could do... Let's put it up out here. I mean, this is always an option. But it's exactly big enough. That would be a little big. That's what she said. Um, it would... It would have to go like that. I mean, it would work. It wouldn't be attacked. Our pyre definitely got attacked. They didn't like that. They didn't like that there was somewhere where their brethren could be burned. But we know it's all going to happen anyway. I don't know. Maybe we put the kiln out here. Maybe. Like that. And then do something on the other side. Maybe that'll work. Probably better anyway. The only thing that sucks about it... There, we'll do that. Is... All that clay and shit's gonna have to be hauled up there. But at least it gives us a little back area, because that does have to be outside, like I said. Alright, yep, let's just go ahead and... Uh, get. Oh, we need the pyre. That's the other thing. Alright, we got a tree planted here. So let's go ahead and remove that. We got a tree planted here. We got a tree planted there. All right, sweet. Ooh, some mushies. Let's grab those. Another set of mushies. All right, and the pyre, pyre, pyre. Nope, nope. Here. Perfect. So we'll get that all set and handled. Oh, they've already stacked up all the bodies. That's where they all went. Let's get some mushies. All right, how are we doing on food? Um, yeah, we got a lot of meats, a lot of mushrooms, 
Not really a fair bit of prepared food. Where, oh, the thing's in the middle. That's right. Oh, we've got six stews. We now have two, four, six, seven people. So we got to bump it up to 21 now for their three-a-days. All right, and who's Chef Boy RD? Cooking Freya. All right, girl, go ahead and cook up. It means you're also focusing on chopping, and you're focusing. <gasps> we can start fermenting. All right, let me pause it for a second. Mash can take all of that. Oh, we can make it out of vegetable rot. That might be beneficial. Because we do get a good supply of rot. You know what? Let me just do a, a rot mash. Just always be making rot mash. And when you're not making rot mash, always be making wine. And always be making milk. Okay. So use the berry to make wine. We'll make mash with the, the vegetable rot. I want to see how that plays out. Yeah, let's definitely see how that plays out. Is this ready? Nope, those are herbs. This is flax. And that is also flax. Berries are very high priority. Good. Low priority on the flax. Don't really give a shit. Right. Alright, so she's planting a better mix. Enemy corpse is rotted to bones. Okay. Okay. Um, I want this ramp mined. I don't want them to have access over there. Um, or... Oh, shit. Nope. That's not what I... There we go. Or I don't want this access either. I mean, it seems stupid, but... Yeah. That way, then their access is right here. Which... And then right there. Yep, okay. Which, that's going to be the big thing, is we're going to have to control where they can come from. All right, so we got one here, one here, and here. So it forces them through this alley to come right to us. All right, we got the, the stupid-ass towers down. <laughs> Which I am going to try again. I'm going to make them taller, though. Make them better this time. So maybe bring them out to here. Maybe that's the big thing we need to do. So let's bring it out to here. All right, make them little towers like this. So do the same thing over here. We'll do that. We'll make them little towers. These I'm going to turn into gates. So then I'm going to slide the wall, switch it to limestone. That could be cool. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. A little limestone wall. Start making it look spittable. A little wood gate action. Okay, that could actually... Uh, could actually be a thing. I mean, we have a little bit of limestone on standby. Get ourselves a nice little gate. Oh, where's the gate? There we go. A wood gate. I guess it automatically wants to do that. Alright, research available. What do we got? Decorative structures. I mean... Okay. Not really a priority right now, but okay. And then let's put the ladder in that same spot. Right there and there. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Right now, I think having them go up there and then break the ladder from up above. That might be the way to go temporarily. We'll add another... Oop, shit. Autosave. That always gets me. We'll add another layer. I think we went up one higher. 
It'll definitely look much cooler. Because, yep, I'm totally going for what looks cool. <laughs> that's that's how I play. So that's how I'm going to do it. Alright, let's get these in. Yes, I know. It's going to tell me it's not reachable. It's not stable. It can't do this. Can't do that. I get it. I get it. It's just like just like my mom. I was telling me how to live my life. All right. So there, that should be good as far as towers. We'll have gates. We'll have a nice stone fence right here. So it should work. This should be good to go. Hopefully. So we have the library. What's going to come expand off the library? Right? Because I have this little hallway right here. So we can put in a door when we expand on another bit. I'm curious what we want to add on for our next little piece. Hmm... Hmm, indeed. Hmm. I mean, we're going to need several crafting areas. Oh, hey, look at that. It's autumn. Sweet. We are going to need several crafting areas, right? Because we're going to unlock, like, tailoring, blacksmithing, stuff like that. Um, we have cooking on this side, and then we obviously have knowledge on this side. So, I'm thinking... Hmm... The expansion over here? Mm, no. This might be the craftsman side, right? We'll do another, like, building that's double story right here. A little two story thing. That's kind of the end cap for this piece. Maybe extend the library a little bit more. Add, like, another two or three rows. Add another big square piece. It's kind of the same size footprint as this. A little bit smaller version, but still big. It'll be two story. And then that'll be our giant crafting area. And then that'll give us room if we need to shoot off this way and shoot off this way. Okay, we got... Yes, this will be an ever-evolving longhouse. That's the beauty of it. Alright, we need more trees. Ask and you shall receive, my guys. Let's go ahead and chop all this shit down. Alright, we need all of this. Let's go prioritize the chopping. The chippy chopping. Let's get a chippy going. Uh, don't... Don't really discriminate. We need trees, so let's get some trees. We got a doggo coming in. Got ourselves a wee doggo. We got a whole bunch of trees right here that we can take too. Right off. Alright. Hey, and there's our little brick wall. To kind of separate off our... Uh, what you call it? Our garden. There we go. That was... Oh, wow. That was... I don't know why that was a hard word to come up with. Alright, so it's expanding a little bit. We're going to have our guard towers. This will be nice. It's exciting. Alright, we're changing things up. We're expanding. Alright, we got... Ooh, armored area. Okay, so that's a big thing we need to add. We also need to fix the floor. Shit. I totally forgot about this. Why won't it... What the shit? Is, is it some kind of glitch or something with the ladder, or...? Because with this stability and that, like, it shouldn't... Well, maybe I should add a, a ladder right here, then? I guess. Might as well. Oop. Yeah, might as well, right? Uh, 
Oh, it's because they're still waiting on all of this. All right, Mr. Odin. Then you got to tackle this because we got to fix the second and third floors. Those are definitely a priority. All right, how you doing? Getting plenty of sleep. That's good. All right, who is... Who is my blacksmith? Thor. Guess what, brother? You've been promoted to crafting. We need fucking bricks. Let's get that shit done. Alright, Odin. Come build the door. Waking up early, 3 a.m. Let's hit it. You're an old man. You should be used to it or some shit, right? Comes coming down. Construct these beams. All right, we need to get the support rating up, 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 up. There's everybody just running out. <laughs> That's nuts. Get this beam up too. The rest of them you can do just whenever. I don't. Those are for extra support, but these ones are important. Alright, so that should definitely up up the factor in here. Alright, so let's get this all down. There we go. So that goes there, and then we'll go up one more. And we should be able to fill this in also. Alright, all the enemy corpses are rotting. I mean, they're all out here, so it doesn't really matter. Why are we storing bones in here? Yo, 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 yo. Waste. What's... No, 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 no. Waste does not go in here, doggos. Waste does not go in there. Hey! We got a new goat, and its name is Billy. It's a Billy goat. That couldn't be more fucking perfect. That is hilarious. That, wow. That just... That genuinely makes me laugh. Like, that couldn't be more fucking perfect. Billy Goat. Wow. Alright, so furniture. Let's get some of these armor pieces in. Um, where do we want to put them? We don't want to put them up in the bedroom. Do I want to put them in here? The upstairs entertainment area? I think maybe, just like right here. A little couple of them. One, two, three. Right here. Alright, yeah, let's just do that. Just to... Alright, Odin. No, we're gonna stop you for a second. Get this thing cooking. That way then, Thor can just be cranking out bricks. Because we're gonna need a shit ton of bricks. I want clay bricks up the wazoo. Right, reinforce the flooring out there. We can start bricking up new areas. Definitely need it for our fires, right? Our little braziers, if you will. All right, bricks until we have, I don't know, 100. Let's always just have like 100 bricks on hand. That's a good. Solid number. All right, research. Hey, all right, here we go. Let's get defensive structure. We get that reinforced door. Ooh, but we need iron ingots, which means we need smelting. I think smelt. Mm, yeah, I think smelting. Transform it into ingots. Um, but preserving food. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. This might be the way to go. Preserving of the food. Yeah, we're going to need shelves and we're going to need the smoker. Yep, let's go with that. That's going to be the way to go. Thanks for the extra work, Loki. All right, where are we going to put our smoker? That is now the new question. Do 
we want to put it outside. So you know what? We're going to copy this. It's going to go... Ah, shit. I love and hate you, autosave. I love and hate. Alright, let's copy this. One, two... Alright, we'll do that right there. We're going to have to put the smoker out here. Yeah, I mean, well, can we put it... Can we put it inside? Oh, we can. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was an outside only thing. Okay, because all this is going to move and shit anyway, so I'm not really... I don't really give a fuck. Um, oh, let's line it up on this wall. Put, like, double smokers right there. A little pop-pop. Ooh, yeah, yeah. All right, we want clay. Everything's clay in this in this establishment. A little double smoker action. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, there we go. Looks like our little ovens. That's going to be cool. That's really going to pop as a kitchen, man. That's really going to be awesome. We got our goats. Man, we are just cooking. We are doing good. Yep, and Thor is cranking out. Ah, there we go. All right, finally. So the next big thing is going to be upgrading the beds. Right, we want them to have a better a better sleep. But we're gonna need oh we have barley. We have seven barley. Alright, yeah, we're gonna need barley. Let's put out barley fields. Four, five, six, and let's go five by four. Yeah, five by four. That's definitely what we need. And barley is going to be a very high priority. Let's go ahead and expand this out. And then same thing here. Expand this out. There. We'll have a nice little garden area out there. So that'll be nice. That'll be real nice. That'll be real nice like. Alright. Odin will, I guess, get to things when he gets to them. How do we get these? Well, that I don't understand. Like, how are we supposed to get up there? Hmm. I don't know. It is... How are we on our hay? Oh, we got a fuck ton of hay. Ooh, alright. Friendly visitor. Alright, so Odin... Oh, not that one. Nope, not that one. Come on, bed. Yep, we're going to need you to come and deconstruct. Damn it. All of the beds. Deconstruct. Because then we're going to need to start putting in new comfy beds. Better do it quick here, too. Our big problem right now is friggin' wood. I swear, that is like the name of the game. Drop all that shit out. That should give us hella wood. Not enough beds. Yeah, I'm trying to solve that problem. Come on, guys. Cut me some slack here. Everything's made out of friggin' wood. That's why I'm trying to get the clay bricks up and running. We can start building our expansions out of clay. That'll definitely help. Alright, smoke meats forever. And smoke meats forever. Get that shit up and running. Not enough resources. Uh, for what? We don't have enough meat? We don't have any meat. Alright. Uh, manage. No, let's overview. Wildlife. There is a fox. Alright, go fucking hunt the bitch. I don't, know, I don't know what to tell you guys. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna need that. So I'm gonna go hunt the one fox. So the vibe I'm getting is that wildlife is gonna become a big deal when it comes to this kind of stuff. Ooh, a trade hall. That's one of our what our add-ons can be. Right? A, a nice little trade hall that has 
right off of the kitchen. On the other side of the kitchen, put a trade hall. The little merchant stall. You know, put in a table and some chairs, some fires. You know, make it nice place so that way when the caravans can come, they can all chill. That, yeah, that might actually... Okay. And then the second floor above that can be... I don't know, armory? That works. Storage, some kind. I definitely want to keep it to the longhouse vibe, so everybody sleeping together, you know, stuff like that. Alright, speechcraft, 7, 21, 10, 15, 10, 8, and okay, so, Eloise, that goes without saying, my dear. Come and barter with the man. Ooh. Get it, Freya. All right, here we go. Doing a little bartering. What do we've got to barter? All right, so wood is crucial for this. So we are not going to give up our our saplings. But we can give up all of the enemy spoils. Right? All these flimsy staffs and weapons. All these bullshit hatchets. Right? Shields. Gotta keep an eye on the weight, of course. But we're obviously gonna take things off their hands. Um, yep. A shitty spear. A pig face helmet. Oh, that's one of those metal ones that has, like, the mouth guard thing that comes out to a point. That's crazy. And we're getting close on... Alright, then summer clothes. Take all that shit. Okay, so that racks up. Ooh, okay. That's a good 111 gold. So what do you got for us? You've got silver, shields, pike. It's fish. Okay. Which, that's the big thing, is we're almost into fishing season. So we will make sure, now that we have smoking meats, that we get lots of fucking fish. We're going to need fish up the wazoo. That's for damn sure. All right, leathers from fox. We can always trade that in. Sturdy kerchief, ice blocks. Um, you know what? Let's grab them. We'll put them down in the cellar. Honey crisp, crisples, crisples, honey crisps. Sturdy great sword. Some more flax spear, okay, eel. A flimsy dagger, clay brick. He brought clay brick. That's feels a bit ridiculous, but okay. Carrot seed, cabbage seed. Yeah, we are going to need some seeds. Barley. Alright, so let's take all of his barley. I know, I can be using those, the hotkeys. You sue me later. Um, cabbage. I mean, that's an easy year-round thing, right? But cabbage seed. So let's have a good, good big cabbage field. That's what, three by... I don't know, it's three... Let's see, that goes five, that one's five, so that's ten, that one's five and five, twenty something. We'll take thirty, yeah, fuck it. That's still only twenty, like what are we going to do? <laughs> all this extra, we're like we're taking a little bit of weight off of him, but we just sold him all, pretty much all of the spoils. got boar leather and cat leather. He's got... Ooh, he's got mead. Alright, mead is 13 a pop versus alcohol, which is 11 a pop. That's just straight alcohol. Like, it's not even... It's not even sweet or anything. It's just straight disinfectant. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ooh, he has a donkey. Nah. Like, donkey would be good to train for hauling. The problem, though, is... Yeah, we'd have to take the time to train it. And that takes time, which time that we don't really have, because we need to focus on our day-to-days. Flax seed, we're fine. We need the... Alright, we got the barley, so we can start planting the barley field. We got saplings, we're all good there. He's got fish. He's got... Oh, we have rough wine. Um, yeah, we don't need to buy any alcohol. I mean, we're making a good... Yeah, we got 44 rough wine. Whatever we 
don't drink and it spoils, it's going to become um, vinegar, which that we can easily use as a trade item. We're already getting milk, so that's good there, which then eventually that'll ferment into cheese. We've got junkets. I mean, we can take all of their gold. Yeah. Take the 41 gold. That's still... Man, still gives us more shit to get. Um, is this guy trained? No. What else? What else? What else? Beets? No, not really. Carrots? Meh. Cabbage is straightforward and easy. I know mo most of the time, you know, like a real-life situation, you'd want to introduce some variety, you know, with cabbage and carrot and, you know, potato, whatever. But when it comes to games like this, it's much easier just to pick one crop, blanket that crop, everybody just eats it forever. <laughs> right, no problems. No muss, no fuss. Vinegar. Yeah, I don't know what else to buy. I guess Chronicles? Just start buying more research? Okay, let's, yeah, let's grab a couple of them. That racked up pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. We can just give him back some gold. Till it, yeah, there we go. Alright, yeah, there. Take all the spoils of war. From basically two raids worth of shit. And in return, we're gonna get... A bunch of gold, some research, and then food preservation as well as food growth. So that's a big deal. Okay. Odin, you are praying? No, 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 don't deconstruct the floor. What the shit? No. Odin. Prioritize constructing the clay brazier. God damn, he was gonna deconstruct the floor! What the shit, dude? Prioritize this one too, my guy. Alright, we need to we need to introduce a little heat into the world. Alright, then the next big thing is gonna be the beds. Prioritize constructing these beds. Let's get this shit handled. I know we got people sleeping on the floor and shit. Bro's grinding. He's getting that midnight oil. He's a beast. Damn auto save. Come on, Odin. Odin for the win. Odin, Odin, Odin. Come on, get it, guy. He wants to eat that food so bad. And I am not letting him. Because he needs to get his shit together. Come on, bro. Build these beds. What's, what's Freya doing? Same with you. Wake the fuck up. I know you guys are exhausted. I'm sorry, it's 3 a.m. I know. I bit off more than I could chew. I'm so sorry. You can be pissed at me later. You're all in good moods, though. You can be exhausted, tired, whatever, on your own time. Ooh, it was a caravan. I thought it was just a one... So well, I guess that's why his weight was so high. Settlers are exhausted. Not enough beds. Odin is definitely the man. Look at him working into the wee hours. Everybody else is exhausted. We have some clothing and armor, it looks like, that went unaccounted for. Probably just because it wasn't in our uh, our storage. All right. Ooh, that's, a, that's another thing. So we have the cellar down for food, but we do need another warehouse. So maybe that's what we'll put above... Above the merchant hall? No. 
Or maybe the next to the kitchen needs to then just be the first floor a warehouse for, you know, general goods. And then above that will be a... Yeah, I think that's how we'll do that. All right, let's go down real quick before we wrap things up here. Let's get some wood shelves built. Oh, what is that sound? I think that's the the kiln running. shit ton of shelving. There should be no excuse for why we don't have available foodstuffs. Oh, structure can be placed there. Yep, there we go. And then we will put a... So those are exhausted and unconscious. Yes, I know. I know. And then back here... One, two, three, four, five. Let's so clear all high priority. The only thing that's going on here, not manufactured, is going to be ice blocks. We're going to expand that out. There. So the ice blocks will go back there to help dissipate the temperature, I think. Yeah, something like that. Let's see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, 24 ice blocks is going to be our limit. So, let's go ahead and expand. Might as well just do the whole, right? Because once we unlock ice making... There. Then we'll just make sure that that is always covered in ice down there. Making that a cold-ass fucking room. And then we'll come here and say... Materials. Raw materials. Alright, it holds all that. It's manufactured. No to ice. Okay. So we're slowly... Slowly prioritizing stuff. We're coming into a... Uh... Alright, we got all the beds. Odin is unconscious. Alright, Odin. Nope. Schedule. What? Okay, what time is it? 17. Odin. Go to sleep, my dude. Odin's like, I am fucking done, bro. <laughs> Alright, who else is building? Is it Thor constructing? Yes. Alright, get in here and build these brazers. We need to warm up. Warm up this area. There you go. Come on. Get this one too. Come on. I love that on the inside, you can see a little bit of, like, the moisture right here. If you look on the wall, like it's seeping through from the rain. And the little droplets here, all the pooling. Yeah, definitely a very wet, moist marsh. Definitely. So will just burn people forever. I forgot to do that. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's looking good. All right. Yeah, let's take the, remove that. Oh, yeah, these trees in here? Oh, when these grow, this is going to be such a peaceful little area. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get these mishies. All right, well... Oh, we got this last one here. I forgot to... I think that's all of it. Yep, there's no more over here. Yeah, we'll leave that to its own. Ooh. Elois has gained the perk lightweight. Uh-oh, that might not be a good thing. Lightweight... 
She really can't hold her drink. Even a tiny tipple will make her dose off. That is awesome. She's in a Viking culture settlement. And she can't hold her liquor. Let's go ahead and hack all this out. Alright, we got cabbages. Alright, that was our other thing. So before we forget, let's throw down a fat cabbage field. Let's just do that for starters. This will be medium. Oh, this will be a little bit higher priority. Right? And then the flax field will bump up to mediums. Definitely prioritize it over the trees. Which, look at that little added color, right? Definitely, definitely does a little something something. Alright, so birch, 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 birch. How about you out here? Uh, birch. Let's go with you. No, you will make a maple. You will make a maple. Make a maple. Make a maple. And then we gotta throw in some oak. Oak. Maybe out here. Yep, you're an oak already. Make you an oak. one is this? A maple? Alright, so let's add there. And there. What are you? You're a willow. Alright, so we'll put a willow here. Maybe another... Oh, nope. I know. I know. I already know. I can hear you guys already. A couple willows. What are you? Uh, we needed some pines. Yeah, let's put down a pine or two. Alright, we definitely need some pines mixed in. Throw some pines out here on the edge. Maybe another one in right here. Yep, throw out a couple pine. Definitely helps spice things up a bit. Alright, yeah, I'll put one there. Let's put... Oh, this one. There. We'll put one out there, too. Okay. So that'll definitely add some, some more, I guess, color, if you will, to all of that. And we'll get this going. This guy needs to be chopped. Okay. So. Everybody's got their upgraded bed. We had the off-camera raid. We had the on-camera raid. We're starting on the defense towers. We've got plans for expansions. We solved the flooding problem. We have new technologies between smokers and food preservation shelves. We've gotten plenty more research built up. I'd say all in all, we're, we're cooking. We're doing pretty well. So I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. We, we got a lot done. We got a lot happening. We did some good trades as well as our great combat skills, even though we totally dropped the ball with the towers. and But whatever. We're not going to talk about that. It's neither here nor there. But again... Good spot as any to go ahead and call it. So I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and joining me on this exciting episode. As always, hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And as always, smash the subscribe if you haven't already. Join the ever-growing community. I mean, we're already close to the road for 800. We hit that. I'll do another live 800 sub special, and we will figure something out. But we'll go from there. And, uh, oh, hey, as always, if you'd like to stay in the know, head over to Instagram. Follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And if you'd like to show additional support for the channel... Become a member over at Patreon, or you can check the link in the description for my merch. But as always, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. This is an awesome, ever-growing community. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.